back to the Nissan Nismo Insider. I'm Alicia Kelly and today we're coming to you from the opening test day at Sydney Motorsport Park. Now today we've got a very special guest joining us, Nismo athlete Alex Buncombe. Now Alex came out here to drive alongside Rick in the Bathurst 12 hour. Let's take a look at what he thought of the Nissan Ultima V8 supercar. athlete Alex Buncombe. Alex, how did you find the V8 supercar? <laughs> fantastic, I can't stop smiling. Yeah, what a what a fantastic um, you know experience that was, although I only did a few laps. It was uh, fantastic, I had a, a lot to learn and uh, yeah, I did three laps on the wet tyres and then uh, three laps there at the end with the slick tyres. So um, yeah, really, uh, really hard to get used to it. It's quite, quite different to what I've been used to in Europe. So, um, you know, uh, a few more laps out there, I'll be on the pace for sure. You came out here for the Bathurst 12 hour, unfortunately you didn't get any race laps. How did you find the Bathurst track during practice? Yeah, again, absolutely fantastic experience to be racing in Bathurst and um, yeah, you know, the, the team and everyone and uh, Rick did a, a really good couple of stints there at the start of the race and, you know, we were looking so, so good to be in the top top five, you know, and uh, yeah, we were running P, P4 when the crash happened and um, yeah, such a sad end to, to, to the weekend really you know it was um, you know we were looking really good for a strong result are you hoping to visit Bathurst once again love to come back you know you know either if it's in uh, in this car the, the 12 hour race again would be fantastic you know and um, yeah it'd be great to go back there it's a fan fantastic circuit Season 2 of the Nismo Insiders will give you a deeper look into how our factory team operates and what we get up to at and away from the track. So stay tuned for more videos throughout the 2014 season and check out nissanmotorsport.com.au for all the latest Nissan Motorsport news and images.